Hi, I'm Phil Burt and I'm here today to talk to you about our aerodynamic bike fit process or assessment. Now, that's based upon my many years of being thrown the complete curveball of people going to wind tunnels at the Great Britain Cycling Team and Team Sky and coming back with these amazing aerodynamic positions which are inevitably very aggressive and hard to hold. There you go, Phil, make that work. Now, there's two things there. One, you might be the problem about this, i.e. the rider is adaptable, or is it that we can adjust some things around the bike that can make that aerodynamic position work better for you in terms of comfort, sustainability, and power reduction, as well as being aerodynamic? Now, when I talk about the adaptability, uh, riding a time trial bike or, or a road bike in a very aerodynamic position requires a lot of neck extension looking up the road. And then to be very low at the front means you still have to look up the road to see where you're going. That's like painting the ceiling for two hours for some of us. And if you paint the ceiling for two hours, I guarantee most of you are gonna have neck pain. Now, you can get rid of that by working on specifics around your body, and we can tell you that with our off-bike assessment around air assessment, around aerodynamics. But often, most of us don't have loads of time to work on ourselves, and of course, the bike is instantly adjustable. Now, here's the big thing. If somebody lowers your front end by 30 mils and then puts your saddle height, saddle forward and up, that's harder for you to hold. But what if you're on the wrong size crank length and you're still chewing your kneecaps your thighs coming up into your chest, making it harder for you to breathe. Your knee nearly touching the front of the arm pad as you're trying to pedal. But nobody changes that when you get in the more aero position. These small things, changes can make great positions, very aerodynamic, go much faster. Here's the big thing as well. Lots of people get put, put themselves in aerodynamic positions, i.e. lower at the front, high at the back, but forget to manipulate all the parameters around that crank length cleat position and so on and so forth. So it's really hard to pedal fast. Now here's a bit of a light bulb moment. If you can't pedal hard and fast, you're not going to ride fast no matter how aerodynamic you are. So in our philosophy, back end first, comfort, sustainability, ability to produce power. Now for some people I work with, that was four minutes in an Olympus team suit final. Comfort kind of goes out the window, still has to be sustainable. For some of us out there, it might be an Ironman, 110 miles needs to be aerodynamic, but you need to pedal it for a good few hours. We'll work out your goal and we'll deliver that with all my knowledge acquired over the last 13 years in elite cycling. Just to clarify, we only have one price at Philbert Innovation, no matter what the fit, simple optimization position, saddle health, aerodynamics, which we're talking about today, it is one price. What we do is we screw everything towards that goal of aerodynamics, saddle health, injury prevention, and then is there. So you don't have to worry about paying any extra.